The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Superstar. If this person spent as much time focused on their ring work as they do for standing up for what they believe in, they'd maybe be undefeated. Corey, I think sometimes a person's courage and character speaks louder than their record. Really? Show me the last time someone got a title match because of their courage and character. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. Here we go, guys. And his opponent from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, weighing in at 444 pounds, Hillbilly. If pride comes before the fall, then brace for one heck of a big fall in this match. Oh, well, aren't you clever, Saxton? It isn't about pride for this athlete. It's about believing in yourself and keeping firm to that belief. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Impressive pinning combinations and devastating submissions will not result in victory in this one. It's who can be the first to put their opponent through a table. Yeah, a competitor must stay on their feet. Once you're on the middle or the top rope, balancing on the apron or launching an air attack, you're taking a huge risk. In a tables match, you have to do whatever it takes, and that may include attempting offense you normally wouldn't even think about. Man. I don't have you walking funny. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Moves outside. What's the plan here? He's able to sidestep there. Series of reversals. to the body, looking to fight his way out. Caught in a bad position here. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal throw. Barricade. 
Corey, what is the approach in a match like this that is so singularly focused on a specific end result? Well, there's no secret in this one. Every bit of offense is done with the goal of putting your opponent through a table. Create as much chaos as possible to put your opponent on the defensive. Well, it's all about the chaos. A competitor could be so focused on defending against a mounting offense that they become distracted from the threat of going through a table. All I know is someone's going to end up splitting some lumber, and I can't wait to see who it is. Well-scattered reversal there. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Great reversal. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, look at the knees. Burying knees into the body. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. He's in a little bit of trouble now. So far, this tables match has been just as brutal as we anticipated. Oh, big back fist connects. Oh, and a reversal. Absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Oh! Looking for something, anything under the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Great strength being shown here. Oh, and took too long setting up for that maneuver. And he gets tossed back into the mat. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Planning on what to do next. They have tried their hardest to avoid damage, but I think the table might be coming into play sooner rather than later. Uh, Propelled into the table. He climbs into the ring. He's setting his table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. its toll, but they were able to pull out the win here. This one felt special from the moment the bell rang. We knew it was going to be a show. Yeah, it really lived up to all the expectations.